Before you think about replacing your thermostat, you might want to understand how they work and more importantly, how they're wired. There are many different kinds of residential furnaces and heat pumps, but I'm going to use a very common scenario found in North America. That is, a forced air furnace fueled by natural gas. In the old days, before air conditioning, homes had simple thermostats like this that just worked the heat. Leave a comment if you still have one like this. Now behind the scenes, this type of thermostat was just a coiled thermometer with a mercury switch. When the temperature changed, the mercury moved from one side of the switch to the other, and that either connected or disconnected a circuit to turn on the heat. A red wire carried 24 volts from the furnace to the thermostat, and a white wire went from the thermostat to the gas valve inside the furnace. When the house got cold, the thermostat created a circuit to send 24 volts down the white wire, and the burner would ignite. After the furnace heated up, the blower turned on to circulate warm air throughout the house. When the house was warm enough, the thermostat would break the circuit and turn the burner off. The blower would run for a few more minutes to cool the furnace down. A third wire was added, this time green, for thermostats that had a little switch to run the fan for air circulation. After air conditioning was invented, they added a condenser unit outside the house and a yellow wire for the thermostat to tell the furnace when to run the AC. Although some systems may have additional wires for two stages of heat or air conditioning, this basic four-wire system is still very typical in many homes. Now before smart thermostats, the biggest advancement in energy conservation was a setback thermostat, which had a battery to run a clock so you could automatically turn the heat down at night and back up in the morning to save money. These days, smart thermostats, like Ecobee, take energy conservation to a whole new level because they can be programmed to adjust the temperature multiple times the day and even bypass the schedule if nobody's home. The issue is smart thermostats are miniature computers with digital displays and Wi-Fi connectivity, so they require more power than batteries can provide. So yet another wire is needed, called a C-wire or common wire, that enables the thermostat to have a constant 24 volts to run its electronics. The challenge is, many homes lack a C-wire. Ecobee overcomes this challenge with an ingenious little device called a power extender kit, which is included free with the thermostat. The power extender kit lets you install an Ecobee thermostat even if your home doesn't have a C-wire. More on that topic in the next video where I replace two thermostats in my home with Ecobee smart thermostats. Leave a comment if you have any questions about thermostat wiring and I'll do my best to try and answer them. Thanks for watching. Welcome home. Be sure to subscribe and watch our new series, The Living Flip. Ooh. That has inch and a quarter. It's a little one. That's all I know.